Remember that thrill of buying without worrying about tomorrow. The pursuit of instant happiness and unrestrained desire fueled by the fear of missing out. But have you ever stopped to think about how your spending decisions today can affect your financial life tomorrow? It seems that many Americans are immersed in a spend now, worry later culture, shopping, driven by a series of factors that, at first glance, may seem tempting. The reality is that the world has changed. Debts accumulate, jobs are uncertain, and the next recession casts a long shadow. So sad! Squandering clashes against an inescapable truth, and FOMO transforms into something more. A wake-up call for a generation that is awakening to the insight of long-term financial consequences. You might wonder what factors contribute to this compulsive spending. Number one, a robust job market. By all measures, the job market has almost completely returned to pre-pandemic levels. Number two, Americans are playing with house money. It's reported that Americans collectively gained around $280 billion by leveraging their home equity and saved around $120 billion through refinances, allowing them to spend much more money than they would otherwise. Number three, surplus savings. This refers to all the extra money Americans were able to accumulate by staying home, not spending, receiving stimulus checks, collecting unemployment insurance, and seeing a surplus in their bank accounts. Number four, the buy now approach. For most products, prices have increased every year since 2020. This has led people to adopt the strategy that it's better to buy today before prices have a chance to rise further, so they spend up front in an effort to save. Number five, a new perspective on life. For many people, the forced shutdown made them see their lives and mortality differently. It made them appreciate what they were missing before or how quickly situations can change, so they decide to enjoy today while they still can. Now I'll show you the best ways to save, but first, wait, 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 wait. Subscribe to my channel for more financial tips. The first method I recommend is Dave Ramsey's zero-based budget method. With this strategy, the goal is for your monthly income and monthly expenses to be absolutely zero dollars at the beginning so that every dollar is accounted for and allocated to a specific purpose. Another method is the 50-30-20 rule, meaning 50% needs, 30% wants, 20% savings. Half of your overall budget should be allocated to absolute necessities that you can't live without. We need more food. Water! 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 Need water now! From there, 30% is assigned to wants, which is another word for optional and discretionary expenses. Finally, 20% is earmarked for savings and investments. No, money. How to start? Start immediately. You have more momentum when you're initially excited about trying something new, and once you start, you're much more likely to keep it going. Detail your expenses. All you need to do is create a free account on any money tracking platform, and from there, you can see exactly how much money is coming in and going out of your accounts every day. After doing this, you must identify the keys in the areas of savings. Embarking on the path to financial freedom, begins by closely examining expenses at home in the car, on taxes, in food, and in debts. Consciously reducing these expenses not only eases immediate financial pressure, but also lays the groundwork for building a robust financial freedom. By adopting healthy financial habits and making conscious spending decisions, we unlock valuable resources that can be invested to construct a prosperous financial future. Let's learn to budget and leave FOMO behind. Remember, the power of change is in your hands. Don't spend your morning, invest it. Thank you for your time.